Welcome, Leo. This is your reading. Okay, so um, Leo, we're going to do something a little bit different this time. We're going to take a look at all of our romance. Um, we're going to see what's going on, what you can expect in romance. Okay, so this is a timeless reading. This is also a general reading. So we're going to take a look at what's going on for you in your life. What's coming forward. We'll just go with what's coming in the cards. Okay, so let's go ahead and get your energy. Now, Leo, if this resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Okay, they may be resonating more. Okay, we have a heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay, I feel like, you know, you may be needing this heart-to-heart -heart discussion with someone close to you, with your significant other, right? We also have letting go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. You know, don't try to take control of the situation sometimes that can be more forced and it makes it more harder in in the situation itself right so just letting things flow naturally um giving each other space in a certain situation and communicate clearly right um i feel like there's someone that definitely wants to hear what you have to say but um I feel like sometimes they may have to hold back. They may have to kind of wash your tongue a little bit, right? So let's get some more energy for Leo. What's going on? Give me more messages. Okay, we have clairvoyance. So you may be very intuitive at this moment, right? Um, Archangel Raziel, I'm helping you. I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so that you can clearly see heavenly love okay so i you know what i'm seeing is that your your spirits the higher forces around you may be giving you this insight this ability to focus on your healing so that you can be more open to love more open to expressing love to someone close to you more open to expressing love to yourself as well um, because I feel like in a sense I'm feeling that you're kind of blocked in that area okay so let's take a look let's get some more we have the counselor Archangel Azrael Okay, you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. So I feel like, you know, overall, you really give very wise counsel. You give very good advice to people. You don't just tell them what they may want to hear. You actually speak from your heart. And that's a very good quality, Leo. And I feel like, you know, your significant other really... Um, really enjoys that quality out of you because you you speak your mind but you do it in a way that you're not trying to be bold about it you also be very personable um, to someone else's feelings so I feel like that's a very good quality okay let's get some more energy for Leo okay we have TikTok so you may feel like the clock is ticking like there's some kind of countdown happening but i feel like time is on your side leo the number 30 may be very significant for you this may be your age this may be your birthday but i feel like three has a very significant number as well okay um i feel like you may be going through a lot of change at this moment you may be evolving and Actually, the word that I'm getting is maturing, right? So with this clock, I feel like, you know, you've seen time pass by and you're maturing with every uh, closing day. And I feel like there's something counting down. There's something that you're kind of anticipating. Um, maybe some kind of appointment, some kind of date that you have set. But it seems like you're on the countdown. You're waiting for something to happen. 
okay so we also have time to go see what did i say you're waiting for something to happen you're waiting to um kind of explore new things right you you may be very busy you may be very occupied and this could also mean that you're traveling that you're seeing the world seeing the sights the number 45 may also be significant but it can also reduce to the number nine so that may be significant as well okay so i feel like you know during this time of you watching this video i feel like you are you're understanding new things you're believing in new truths right and and I, I feel like that has something to do with your belief system that has something to do with something that you're believing about how you interact with people and how you view love in general okay I feel like those aspects that you once understood I feel like they're changing they're maturing they're kind of you know growing as you grow as you get older and I, I feel like the things that you may have been really attracted to um, a while back, you're no longer attracted to, to those things. I feel like you're attracted to something different. I can feel you kind of growing into a situation and also growing out of a situation. Okay, so and I feel like that's something that's very interesting that I'm getting that, that channeled message. Okay, so let's take a look at the Love Tarot, the Love Oracle, and see what we have for Leo. Let's see. Okay, there may be someone watching you, someone who's stalking you, someone that's watching your moves, they're keeping an eye on you. Um, but I feel like there's some kind of admirer there that you may not be noticing. This may also be an X energy. Um, that's really focused on what you're doing now, how you're going about things. Yeah, look at this. And I believe we got this in your last reading. Someone was sabotaging your relationship. So I feel like that energy hasn't totally left you yet. There's someone who means to do your new relationship harm. If you're in a new relationship, if you're dating, if you're not in a relationship, they mean to do that next person harm, right? That they, they're trying to throw a monkey wrench in your situation, so to speak. Okay, so we also have the coffee cup. So I feel like even though this person is looming in the background, even though they're trying to sabotage your situation, I feel like you're not backing down. You're still focused on maybe meeting new people, seeing friends and family, just out socializing. You're not standing back trying to worry about what this person's doing. You're still living your life, Leo. You're still doing that Leo thing, right? You're still hanging out and doing what you do best, you know, being the spotlight. And I feel like you are you aren't even worried about this person because you already know their intentions. I feel like you know exactly who this person is and you know exactly what they're capable of. Okay? Uh, because I feel like this is not your first interaction with this person. Okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at let's take a look at the romance tarot. Let's see what's coming out. For Leo. Let's see what's coming out for Leo. It's kind of odd that this person is still looming around. They still they still don't want to exit your energy. You know, there's something about you, Leo. It keeps drawing them back. It keeps making them want more. Making them jealous of anyone who wants you. Seems like they're very jealous of that new relationship, a new person that you may put your attention on, right? So let's take a look. Let's get some energy. Okay, we have the two of action, two of wands energy. And I feel like this is that energy where you're traveling, okay? Because at, I, I feel like there's 
places that you're going to see. There's a destination that you're going to go on. Maybe you're vacationing or maybe you're traveling to see that special someone, right? So trust in your ability to make excellent choices. There's an opportunity all around you if you just continue to move forward. It may be time to take a new partner who can help you be a success in your career or creative endeavors. Keep your eye on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. Right? Beautiful. We also have out with the old and in with the new. Okay. This is the judgment. Heaven is showing you a sign that it's time for you to move in a new direction. Often this is because you're not happy and feel a lack of purpose in your life. This is a wake-up call to make changes that match your heart's desire and your spiritual truths. So definitely, I, like I said, I feel like there's a lot of changes that you're going through. I feel like you're seeing things from different perspectives. This may be telling you to let go of those old beliefs in a way of new thinking, of new beliefs, because that's what's going to push you forward. That's what's going to take you out of your comfort zone and push you into some sort of success or purpose that you truly have right we also have the messenger of emotion so this is the knight of cups energy this is the beginning of a new emotional experience that could grow into something deeper you may receive a message expressing feelings you didn't even know were developing a social invitation could soon be on its way to you there's a person involved who's very gentle and loving with only the kindest of intentions. It could be you, especially if you're artistic, shy, and sensitive. Okay? And this is the Page of Cups. This isn't the Knight of Cups. Okay? So, we also have the Seven of Action. So, this is the Seven of Wands energy. You're being called upon to claim your personal power. Feel confident as your angels will give you the strength to say no when it's the right thing to do for yourself. Your struggle may, be actu may actually stem from an unresolved inner conflict rather than a conflict with others. So there may be some inner healing that needs to be done. There may be something that you need to focus on, something that you need to release and heal, right? So I feel like putting that focus on your situation, on your healing, on your development is what I'm getting is going to be very crucial because I feel like there's definitely changes coming about. Okay, this is um, a happy change. Your angels have heard your prayers and have banded together to create real and joyful changes in your life events begin to move forward and great progress will now be possible you may need to make some some rapid decisions due to the suddenness of activity be confident and trust the guidance you receive okay so that's beautiful energy for you leo um let's go ahead and get into the messages now this person, uh, what energy is coming forward uh, that has a message for Leo? Let's get a message for Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Messages for Leo. What does this person want to say? Okay. It's time for me to heal now. I feel like this is you or their energy, right? I, I feel like, you know, you are looking for healing yourself but this person is coming through either this new person or this person that you have left behind they, they're in need of healing as well okay i knew exactly what i was doing right so i feel like someone really did you wrong someone really knew exactly how you were going to react to a situation but they didn't care they did it anyway okay i regret lying to you someone really did not tell you the truth. You and I were too young. Right. 
And that's where I feel like that maturity is now kicking in because I feel like you and this person, and I feel like you know who this person is. You know exactly who's speaking these words, who's saying this, but you and this person were too young, maybe too immature to really dive deep into this relationship. Maybe it's a first marriage or maybe it's, you know, just this first relationship. But I feel like you were very young energy. You were still growing, still learning how to navigate life. And I, I feel like this person, and maybe you, um, now understand what led you together, what, you know, brought your connection together, okay? See, I want to feel that way again. See, this person doesn't want to let you go. They don't want to let you go. Even though they know that they messed everything up, they changed how you looked at them by something that they did. And they know it. They understand this. But they're still not giving up. They're still kind of looming in the background. Right? So let's get some more messages for this person. Let's get some more messages for this person, please. What does this person want to say? More messages for this person's energy. Okay. We have, I'm blocked. So you may have blocked this person. You may have kind of not accepted their calls, not accepted their texts. You don't want to talk to them. You don't want to see them. You're just like leaving them out in the cold. It's like it's done. I'm over with it. You know, I'm over it. And we have the heat between us is intense. So I feel like there's still a lot of attraction. Uh, this could be this person coming out. Uh, this could be someone else. Uh, this could be someone else's energy coming in here. But I feel like the attraction between you and this person is very intense. It's almost undeniable. You know, life without you is hopeless, dark, and depressing. I miss your light. Definitely. Definitely someone just doesn't want to give up. They need that Leo in their life, right? I don't want to be who I used to be. You deserve better. I feel like someone wants to change their ways. But they may not know how. No one understands me but you, right? Yeah, I, I feel like, you know, this person feels like they're not going to find another one of you. They're not going to find someone who cares, who really understands them the way that you do. They, they feel like, they, they may have felt like that for a long time, that they weren't good enough for you. Or that they know that, you know, you and them were not a good match, but you still tried anyway. You tried to force it together, you know. We also have, it's dark without you. So, definitely, I feel like this person is very sad, depressed, you know, they're feeling, they're feeling the stress, the strain, okay, um, they're really seeing what they did wrong and what they lost, and now they're like in this feeling of depression, like, where did I go wrong, you know, because now Leo won't talk to me, they won't listen, you know, um, just, wow, we have dancing, self-expression, or movement. So I feel like you are moving into a different... You're moving into a different cycle of your life, Leo. Um, and I feel like, you know, you're, you're at that point where you're tired of drama. You don't want to be around the conflict. You just want to be able to just, like, glide, right? To just like smooth things over and just relax, enjoy life, laugh, and just have fun. Not worry about the drama, the conflicts, the chaos that is coming about with in maybe this relationship that you left. Okay? And yeah, we do have travel. So definitely, exactly what I was feeling. There's some kind of travel plans that you're making. Okay? We do have the green. This is the heart chakra. So I feel like Spirit is letting you know to work on that heart chakra, 
work on opening up to love because I feel like in certain aspects, I feel like you're kind of closed off by certain situations that you've been through. You may have closed yourself off to accepting love, to really letting someone in that is capable of loving you the way that you deserve. Okay, so definitely opening that heart chakra so that you can be uh, open to love and care. Okay, let's go ahead and get, let's see, we're going to get some handmade messages for Leo. Let's see what else is coming out here. These are handmade messages, like I said, but they may resonate with you. They may give you a more understanding, a more broader aspect of spirit giving you the um, acknowledgement that you need, right? So let's take a look. What do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo? What needs to be said for Leo, please? Okay. We have, it's time to take action. So there's something that you need to do. There's some, and I feel like this may be this journey. This may be this path, this travel that you need to take action on. But I feel like you know exactly what this is. There's something that needs your assistance, that needs action, right? Release judgment of yourself and others, okay? Okay. And it's not what you're expecting. So there's something coming that you're not expecting that you don't really see coming. You may not even see that this is coming. You are limitless. We also have cheaters. Okay. And you already know the answer. And we have protect your energy. Okay. At the bottom we have the, the outcome will be positive. So however the situation goes, whatever choices that you are bound to make, they are going to be positive. Okay, let's go ahead and get a timeline for Leo. When will this situation be resolved? When will Leo find love again? Messages for Leo. Messages for Leo, please. Two months. Wow, two months. Two months is a very short amount of time. So I feel like you already have started to look for someone else. Or you may be in this new relationship to where you're dating. You're just getting to know each other. Because I feel like within two months, things are going to start escalating. Things are going to start evolving and changing. Okay? Let's go ahead and get some tarot let's get a message from tarot see what else is going on for leo message for leo please okay give the justice card something's gonna go in your favor look at this the emperor taking your control back not worrying about what other people think about your situation we have the two of cups definitely some kind of love and we have the five excuse me the seven of wands so i feel like you know if this is a new love coming forward for you within the next two months this is someone who really wants to do you right this is someone who really wants to balance things out and make you feel like you know you are worthy accepted valued Right. Um, if this is some, some kind of legal matter that you may be going through with another person, I feel like it's definitely going your way because you have the emperor here. So you're definitely in control of the situation. You're taking your power back. Right. And I feel like you you're very you're very powerful at this moment, whether you know it or not, Leo. I feel like people view you as someone in the higher rank. You know, they view you as someone who's like beyond the standards, okay? Someone who's very worthwhile and, you know, exciting, bold, 
and uh, exhilarating. Okay, we have the Two of Cups, so there's definitely some kind of soulmate situation. This is a soul contract that's being offered. And I feel like this person that's coming forward, this person will fight for you. This person will defend you. They may defend you. That may be what is so appealing about them. Okay, but I feel like this person is willing to stand up and fight for you, Leo. Okay. So that's that's beautiful energy. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at your angel number. Let's see what's going on, what number the angels have for Leo. What is Leo's angel number, please? 777 alignment. Yeah, your luck is increasing here. Okay, um, your progress is recognized. Your alignment is here. It is within your reach. The whisper is reminding you to stay the course and feel source working through you. Your gifts are being recognized, right? So your affirmation, Leo, I blossom and bloom as I use my gifts. All things simply align as I feel the feeling of the divine. So I feel like you're going to feel your angels close to you. You're going to feel that alignment, that balance, that feeling of ease and peace. Okay? So that's the message that I have for you, Leo. I hope this message finds you well. And if it resonates, please like and subscribe. If this doesn't resonate for you at the moment, please take a look at your other placements. You can also take a look at your significant other's placements. It's okay to be a cross-watcher. Right? So, yeah. Um, and until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.